Hi guys, welcome to this full review of this Volta Gold portable power station V700 watts maximum. Yeah, the listing says Volta Gold solar generator 745.9 watt hours. Uh, 201,600 milliampere hours with 110 volts AC outlet, quick charge 3.0 USB C, UPS battery backup for CPAP mobile lithium battery pack for power outdoor camping emergency and so on so on. It's listed for around 479 dollars on Amazon. Unfortunately, not. Uh, with Prime, but the thing looks really, really impressive. I mean, the listing when you read about that, they have a, a lot of really impressive features. When we look at it, yeah, it doesn't look very fancy. It looks totally outdated, actually. So, so this is a little bit a strange thing. Uh, on one side, we have a lot of features. It's very powerful, but on the other side, it doesn't look very fancy. So what is it really? Is it good? Is it bad? I'm going to show you everything. I've been testing this now for uh, one week with almost everything which it has, all the inputs, all the outputs. And so I'm going to let you know all the good and the bad and the ugly and everything. So here we have it. And I have been using it on a mini fridge now for, I think, 14 hours overnight. And that's the result here. I'm going to show you how much power is left. There is 56% left after this thing here and the fridge has been always nice and cool and there hasn't been any problem what we had i mean i have tested this two times the first time there was some strange beeping every time the fridge was turning on to uh, on high power to cool there was a beeping but i have no clue where the beeping was coming from either from the uh, fridge or from this device but it has been still working the second time i gave it a full charge to 100 percent and the beeping was not there uh, everything was working uh, i've been checking all the numbers with this thing here and i'm going to show you the numbers but what we also have is this error here we have some power fault here and it looks like probably there was some overcurrent over uh, power and but the weird thing is that it still kept going uh, even though we have this light here, it still kept going. So I'm trying to remove the thing here. I didn't turn it off since then. I have it still on 110 volts. So I'm turning this thing off here and I let it uh, be for a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to turn it on. Let's see if we still have this. Yeah, maybe I have to uh, ask the manufacturer why it's not going away, I have no clue. I mean, this is described somehow in the listing that we have to shut it down and then turn it on and it should go away. Yeah, I'll have to find out. But anyway, it's still working and I can show you everything. So uh, here we have the light. By the way, the light is very simple and cheap and small and for a almost $500 device, it would have been much nicer if we get a nicer light, like a strong one or a really like a flood light or something like that. I mean, it's working, but it's super cheap and cover is not really strong. I mean, yeah, usually you won't break that. But anyway, when you turn it off and on, it goes into flash. And when you do it again, it goes into slow. I think that's even an SOS or so. And when you do it again, it goes into first uh, setting. So there are three settings but actually no different brightness level. Here we have the DC on off. Usually the display is turned off and when you want to see the power, like the percentage or use the uh, USB ports or 12 volt, then you have to turn it on uh, here. But I'm not going to show you this live. I mean, I have already done all the tests. I'm going to show you the picture, the results, everything. Don't worry about that. What I have, I think that's the only thing which I have not tested is this 12 volt DC. Uh, I guess it's working. Uh, there's no rocket science behind that. What's uh, rather uh, important here is the quick charge 3.0. I've tested this QC 3.0 out late now a couple of times and it has been showing really nice support up to 12 volts 
and also a pretty strong output up to 3 amps but definitely not full quick charge 3.0 support as you can see on the image. What's the crazy thing here is the uh, type C uh, USB output here and that's uh, two times 65 watts. I'm not kidding this is really working I've been testing this uh, with some advanced tester it has been delivering 65 watts on USB so you can use this for all your Apple devices which can use such amount of uh, power on USB. Uh, that's amazing. This is uh, really rare. I mean, I mean, it's not unbelievable, but it, it, it's still re really rare to find these things. I mean, you can find such power even on, on, on some very powerful power banks, but this is something which is rather rare. But again, the thing here, what I complain about a little bit is this display. I mean, we have basically, we have a percentage of the remaining battery and we have it also visualize but that's it uh, no matter if current is ingoing or outgoing there's no wattage there's no hour i mean some of the state of the art power stations they show how much power is fed into the device and how much power is going out like in vats and then you have also a, a display which shows the hours like how many hours it will take to be fully charged and how many hours you can keep going if you're using the same amount of power uh, let's say if you're powering a fridge and it's turning on and then uh, showing maybe 60 70 watts or so and then it will show that it you can keep running this for about six hours or something like that we have to do the mass on our own i mean in 2021 for such a high price device we should expect a little bit uh, better design and especially larger display with more information i mean it's definitely not a deal breaker i mean i'm keeping this thing i'm not complaining but it would have been nice when we buy such things it would be great to have this information here's the only description i mean this the specs here of this thing and they are describing same thing as on uh, the Amazon listing. By the way, it, it looks like there are two different types. One type is for 110, one uh, type is for 220. We have the 110 here. Uh, we see also the maximum power 700 or probably peak 700. And 30 and the switch time I'm going to talk about this thing uh, also uh, by the way the description is ES 700 I mean yeah the thing is very uh, large I mean it's for the power actually it's not large I mean of course it is somehow large but I have seen power stations which have maybe a third of the capacity and have the same uh, dimensions and almost same weight i mean uh, there is no way you can get uh, such a device which same amount of power or capacity uh, which is not so heavy this is just the batteries inside which make it so heavy but i would say for the amount of power or at least for the capacity it's rather small but of course it's heavy it has to be heavy but it's really nice and easy to carry here with this handle. This is uh, quite powerful. So let's look a little bit at the back side where we have the AC power and we have also the fans. I'm going to go a little bit closer here so you can see this. Oh, here we have two very, very powerful fans and most of the time especially when you're not using maximum power then the fans are not working it's absolutely quiet which is really nice i have been testing this on my laptop and that's the interesting thing here we can really use this as an uninterrupted power source like ups and i've been using this uh, for my laptop gaming laptop which is consuming about 80 watts so i had it connected to the ac power so i was feeding in power but i also was taking out power for my laptop at the same time and it was usually quiet for around eight minutes or so absolutely quiet and then the fans turned on for two minutes and that was pretty loud so for my taste it would be nicer to have maybe a switch which would give us the opportunity 
uh, to choose from a low uh, noise fan like all the time or having just uh, full power uh, every now and then. I mean it's nice to have it fully quiet for eight minutes but two minutes full power I can tell you this is pretty pretty noisy. I mean if you are uh, doing some live chats then on your PC yeah people will uh, wonder what you're doing in the back what's going on uh, I mean you will probably still be able to talk and understand people or, or other people understand you but it, it can be really really annoying uh, it's just too powerful maybe it would be uh, nice to have options but at least it's keeping it cool down and we have some time where it's totally cool and also when you're charging this most of the time it's totally quiet it's just every now and then it's turning the thing on by the way the air which is coming out at least at the beginning the first couple of days it was smelling really heavy chemicals uh, i haven't had this uh, with other power stations i mean all of them have some kind of fan and uh, but none of them was smelling so terrible like strong chemicals so i really recommend to use it outside at the beginning and not using it inside when it comes to the adapters here what's really nice that we can charge it uh, only with this cable which is a, a total standard cable which you can buy even at walmart or so you just plug it in so, so definitely the transformer is built in inside and you don't have to carry this around and this you can find really everywhere so even if you forget these things uh, you can get, just go to the next supermarket and, and buy such a cable and you will be able to use this thing almost everywhere then we have also this grounded two grounded outlets i mean uh, as far as i know there's no real grounding there's just the opening here uh, we never have actually real grounding with such a battery powered power station what's also good is this solar charge here and i've been charging this thing uh, for around three hours outside. I mean, it's Florida, but it's winter. My solar panels are maximum rated 120 watts and I had them directed pretty much south. So it was close to perfect, but of course not really perfect. So I was estimating that they will uh, deliver about 100 watts. And so I had it connected for three hours and after three hours it was showing about 44 uh, percent here on the display on the other side and when you do the mass that's about uh, 300 uh, watt hours or 0 0.3 uh, kilowatt hours which is exactly what i was thinking i was feeding into that and uh, the maximum they say you can feed up to 150 watts so it looks like it can really perform that with some other power stations you can only feed maybe 50 watts or so this is really good that you can really feed a lot of power in short uh, amount of time here but the thing is really kept very very simple there's not even instruction manual that's really the only thing which you get and every other information you would have to get from their website if they have one i haven't found anything maybe you can uh, get more information through the support uh, I mean, I don't need an app. I have seen some power stations which even have an app and you can connect it with your smartphone and get more information and do some special things. But uh, there's ne really not uh, a lot needed. I mean, I don't see really the benefit of having an app. It's more just like more work to connect. And uh, usually you have all the information here that's not much needed uh, apart from some additional power consumption or like some calculation or some fancy things but apart from that it's not needed i don't need that but it would have been nice to have some uh, at least some small instructions manual what we also get here is the 12 volt car adapter there's also one thing here another adapter here and there's also this solar uh, panel adapter what's really cool with my solar panel i mean i will also put down the link to my solar panel down into the description because it worked perfectly for this power station so my uh, solar panel had already an outlet or like a plug which i could use there was no adapter needed this is the standard plug 
which my solar panel was using i've been able to just plug this in here and use this the only thing is that the thread is really uh, wide inside you can see the thing here the plastic is covering almost the whole thread and it was a little bit difficult to secure the plug here that's my only complaint here but apart from that has been working good and here some numbers from the fridge again i have been using this without having this on power everything came just from the batteries which are inside here and we have the power unfortunately uh, when i switched to this outlet here i lost the maximum power i can tell you it was around 380 watts which the fridge was pulling at the time when i was uh, removing this thing unfortunately i didn't check on the last time probably the last time it was higher so it uh, was triggering this uh, power fault here but apart from that in the first 12 hours it was showing a maximum of 300 and uh, about 80 watts which is within the described 700 watts and it was absolutely fine no problem and you can probably go even higher so at the moment there's not much visible we can see the total consummation here that's showing 0 0.496 so basically 0 0.5 kilowatts which is really amazing when we see the percentage here the percentage shows uh, 56 a percent left so when we do the uh, calculation when you think that it's uh, around 750 or 0 0.75 kilowatt hours and we have used 0 0.5 so there would be only about a, a third left or so yeah that's pretty pretty close to that only about 33 percent and we can see it's much higher so either the display is wrong or it has even more power but uh, i would say at the moment definitely no disadvantage yeah it would have been nice if i had done the whole thing maybe i'll go and plug it in again and see how long it's running i have to just be careful uh, at the end of the charge that i'm not uh, losing power too long and everything gets too warm but apart from that i think i have been covering or at least i hope i've been covering everything now so bottom line yeah rather outdated thing but really really powerful a lot of capacity inside and also very very powerful when it comes to input like charging and also output charging or uh, powering other devices with this thing here so it's a uh, quite a discrepancy actually between the uh, look and feel and how it's really working so there's a big understatement with this thing here so this is a little bit bad and especially also when we uh, consider that it can uh, do a path through charging i mean uh, 110 volts in and 110 volts out uh, at the same time like for a, a small pc mini pc or laptop or so this is pretty rare uh, a lot i can tell you really a lot of such power stations are not supporting this they have big problems or they just uh, say okay it's not working like usually how this is working when you plug this thing here in into 110 volts uh, no matter what you do here you can push and push and push as long as you want it's not delivering any ac power to any other device uh, it happens a lot but not with this thing here this is really really solid here that we can use this as an uninterrupted uh, power source so you can have this really uh, have it uh, running all the time and in case there is a power outage and you're working on a laptop on this power station you won't even notice that because the battery is buffering your ac power and you can uh, keep working for hours while others can't work during this time and so i'll put down the link to the amazon listing of this really nice power station and also of my solar panel down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it well i think that's it for now i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time